Economists took an optimistic view of the U.S. economy this week. Overall, economists too say this is just a solid report. The unemployment went down a tick, 5.8 percent, taking it to the lowest since July 2008. American voters, on the other hand, were decidedly pessimistic. Well, nearly 8 in 10 voters going to the polls today say they're worried about economic conditions. So those lower unemployment numbers aren't reaching the American electorate. They just don't trust them just yet. What's driving opposing views of the same economy? Well, one big answer is is wages. And they would rather be working full time. And if you look back over the past several years, um, wages have been flat. The number one reason that people gave for why they were not spending as much as they could was that they were waiting for a raise. Economist Bob Bruska told Fox Business that many of the jobs being created were what he called lower tier. Creating jobs, that's for sure. The unemployment rate is going down. But we're not really generating the kind of jobs that we need in order to move people up in the world. And don't forget the U.S. lost almost 9 million jobs during the recession. Gaining them back has been a long, slow process. So what would a strong U.S. economy actually look like? Economist Tara Sinclair suggested to NPR more people would be quitting their jobs. The reason it's a good thing for people to be quitting their job is because that suggests that they're optimistic about their labor market choices. And of course, analysts are closely monitoring for when the Federal Reserve plans to raise interest rates, which would be a clear sign that it viewed the economy as recovered. While a slow but steady economic recovery has led to speculation the Fed will take action sooner than later, it did Democrats no favors in last week's election. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn. Multiple sources, a broader view. Influence by the military-industrial complex.